farmer was crying, pointing to his smouldering sheep and pointing to all his burnt land. And how was I supposed to know that that little fire we started was going to cause that fucking gigantic bushfire? Dude, we fucked up that week. <clears throat> Are we live? Welcome to episode number thirty-eight. This is the Marty and Michael podcast. We're coming at you straight out of the straight out of the box, straight out of Compton. And uh, this week, fucking hell, it's been uh, it's been a roller coaster of emotions. Let me tell you. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. Um, what we bought we, a car. Well, you we bought, bought a car. A, we bought a car. I'm not going to say uh, who from, um, because the jury's still out on whether it's uh, a good buy or not. Uh, I'm starting to think that the dogs ripped me one. It's not a good car. I don't want a good car. Mm, yeah. So I just fucking bought a shit box, and I think it is a shit box, but it's shitter than I thought it would be. Yeah, you've already had to get repairs. Yeah, which they're doing for free, but fuck, I don't want to have to drive an hour to get there. Yeah, God, it's far away. It's too far. What'd you do on the weekend? Oh, I got drunk. Oh, I got yeah. so drunk that I pissed the bed. No, I didn't piss. Michael broke his drinking ban, so fuck. Mm. Everyone out there who I was... Had $300 bottles of wine. Oh, wow, was it nice? Oh, dude, I had reds. Were they $300 each? Dude, this was like a six-star restaurant. Five Where stars. is it? The one above... You know the place in south bank is a hotel connected to it we've been there before you're lying no we have He's yeah lying. but yeah fuck sorry Michael's it was delicious the wine just talking shit michael that didn't happen i won 300 dollars at the casino too blackjack so, so you won a bottle of wine so all those people who are using michael's uh sobriety is inspiration to also not drink themselves sorry it's He's impossible fucking had a drink uh it's, it's impossible. impossible once you are an alcoholic you cannot stop Forever. you will drink until you die well I haven't drank we've proven since it. we've proven it you yeah so the best case scenario is that you drink only once in a month and then once that month is over the drinking will continue until death comes to your door much 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 earlier than a normal person <laughs> So much. So once you go down the, the much. go down the alcohol path, you are destined to die. So kids, just smoke weed. Don't drink. We will just mix. I like to cycle from one drug to the next. Yeah. That way Always have you- a drug though. Actually, that there's a question about that that I just took a screenshot of before about drugs. Mm. Well, we wouldn't know. Yeah. We only do it in like the name of science. We don't remember it. <clears throat> what um, else has happened? We've exercised a bit. Yeah, you can probably tell. I've lost tell. three kilos. Yeah, you can probably tell that we've been exercising really hard and eating semi-well. You can probably tell. Even those people listening, you can, can probably yeah. tell. Yeah, there's a change in our voice. There's a change in our heart. It's beating more firm. That's Michael's heart. <laughs> um, my girlfriend's here watching now for the first time. And yeah, she's, it's the she's, first time. She's waving her f- her fart, fart. away. <laughs> she did a fart. She's, a she's gushing gas and she's trying to wave it away. <laughs> so that's happening in my peripheral vision. My girlfriend here just seeped gassing everywhere. She's it's seeped. sickening. Um, all right, well let's fucking let's fucking move straight along to let's get some bloody questions rolling out of the gate. Actually, we got we got questions, we got P.O. box. We got a fucked story, and then we got a prank fuck. Yeah, let's keep it short and sweet today. Yeah, let's keep it short and sweet because we know you got ADD. Segment, what's it called? All right, uh, intro to our next segment. Uh, the segment has been renamed, of course. Uh, Matthew Brown from Wholesome, do you mind uh, passing us the phone? Uh, quite a uh, lot of responsibility there on his shoulders. It's quite so a bit lighter than so to many jobs. They have, uh, so many jobs at Wholesome, yeah, he sort of forgets. Heavy. It's quite it's normally once, heavy for him. Once he leaves the office, he sort of zones out, tunes out mentally. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a lot on his plate. So uh, just relax. <laughs> Matthew Brown from uh, from Wholesome there in Milton. So, yeah, quite a large building they have there. There's actually a few Wholesome headquarters in Australia. I saw um, a Wholesome truck today driving. I see them everywhere now. I throw shit at him. I coined it. Yeah, I literally went to my change and just coined it. And I throw shit at him and I scream Matthew Brown. (laughs) Yeah, but we yeah with no wholesome at the end. Yeah, just Matthew Brown so that wholesome hopes that they hear and and then connect the dots that Matthew Brown has told them to do that. (laughs) Yeah, I changed it. I just got all my spare changed and pegged it at the the window. (laughs) All right, uh, this next segment has been renamed to. 
And of course, this is a segment where we just answer questions that you guys send in via Instagram. Yeah, man. What about famous birthdays and shit? We forgot all about that. Oh, yeah. Judge Judy. Judge Judy, uh, we've been re- scanning through the news headlines. There's still no one has thrown human shit at Judge Judy's back. Not on. Just remember, if you live where she lives and you see her, if you go to the same grocery store as her, please, please peg human shit at her back. <laughs> yeah. Film it, it and send spine. it in. Film it's it and send spinal. it in. We will, yeah, just please, please throw human shit at Judge Judy's back. Hashtag it wherever you can. Just comment it randomly. I just want... Let's spread it. Let's spread the word. We need Judge Judy to have human shit just in the middle of her back. Spinal shit. It won't hurt her. Yeah, it's a bit gross, but it's just... I just want to see what she does. Yeah, film it. If you don't film it, it didn't happen. So just please throw someone. Hashtag throw human shit at Judge Judy's back. Imagine being married to her. Yeah, not good. She'd be a very dominant lover. Yeah. And she'd kiss I, with I, only I, tongue. Tongue and teeth kisser. Oh! Yeah, suck. Sucky. Okay. This first question is from... Thalajilk17. Why don't you clip your fingernails? We do. Oh, Michael, that's probably directed at you and your sickness. Yeah, I normally break them, just rip them off. Because they're that weak from malnutrition. Mm. But mm. people, you always see comments, why are you fucking painting your fingernails in the videos? Who fucking cares? Yeah. Well, do what we want. We don't care what you fucking think of our appearance. God. Yeah. Well, Next question. We are God. You are right. Henry Dot Sinclair. What's a stunt? That you are too scared to try. Uh, you were going to cut your finger off. Yeah, I was going to uh, cut my pinky off. Start a GoFundMe uh, for $50,000 back when we were really poor. And just get like really drunk and then get a meat cleaver and just lop the thing off for 50 grand. 50 grand. Oh yeah, you wouldn't do that now. No, wouldn't need to. We just upload two or three videos. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there was one we were going, we were thinking about doing. Um, it was a pencil dive off a ten-story building onto a highway, but um, you know we spoke about it to some other friends, and and yeah, people thought that we could really badly hurt ourselves, so we decided not to do that one. But yeah, we're going to uh, pencil dive off a ten-story building into the middle of the road and like film people's reactions as we uh, fucking land on the highway. I'd, I'd land it. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to like just be- just relax the knees a bit and then just sort of use them spring. as a spring, you know? But yeah, apparently that's dangerous. With Willem Powerfish like a couple months ago, he wanted us to get in shark-infested waters. We scissors, paper, rock, and whoever loses has to jump in after we've thrown blood and guts into the water to get sharks to come. He said, and I was, fuck that. I can't get into water with sharks. But you've only got a 33% chance of having to get in there. Yeah, but... F- that's a as, big as, chance. If you get like, I would just bring like two knives and get in there, and then you just sort of fucking you oh. get ready and play dead. I think, I think like bears. Well, you can always you yeah, play the dead. option. You've always got that option. Sharks are very, very similar to bears. In fact, I read in an article that I wrote that bears and sharks, sharks are basically just bears without without hair. But if in you, the water, if you shave a bear. Very, very similar to a shark. Wow. Matt Brown from Holston will back that and up. And you've always got the option to walk away too. We forget about that. We should have fucking done that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't know if you remember, but Steve-O actually jumped in the water with meat attached to his bathers or his back. Yeah, yeah. he kicked a shark in but also, the head. But also, Steve-O has, uh, you know, animal experts and um, a, uh, paramedics and shit on standby. We only had uh, Willem on standby. <laughs> He's a powerful fish. But... um. Yeah, so you, we should have done it in hindsight because you just, as a shark's coming towards you, you just sort of move out of the way or play dead. I as, just climb up a rope or something out of the water. Yeah, yeah, bring a rope in with you and just sort of throw it up and then climb Around up. Around a cloud, bang, you're, you're safe. Anyway, hmm. next question. This one's from Tom underscore Adkin03. Done any drugs and if so, what ones? Now, the drugs that we've done are for science reasons and we do we do this shit so you guys don't have so to you so have if to. you go oh they're just a bunch of junkies no we're not i'm i'm like three days sober now and before that i was two weeks 
So, well, sober is in no alcohol. We still had yeah, we cocaine, weed. weed uh, oh, what else? There was I don't smoke killers. weed anymore. I I ingest it. It's less anxiety. Uh, what else have we done? Yeah, everything. We've done everything for science. Yeah, it Kids was, don't do drugs until you're 18, then do all of them. We didn't want to do any of them, but we thought we'd better do them and then just tell people what it's like so then they don't have to. Yeah. So we've done mushrooms, LSD, cocaine. DMT. DMT, ice. Oh, dude, that was a rough week. We didn't know it was ice. We are in Laos. We should, that's a fucking story in itself. Um, what else? Uh, Painkillers, all sorts of prescription drugs. Um Weed, of course. Uh, alcohol, of course. Um, oh, what else is there? Pingers, pingers, all sorts of pingers. MDMA, of course, one of our uh, favourites. Mm. But again, don't do it. Just we have done it, and it's nice. But don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> have a go. <laughs> have a fucking go. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. Have a, do it responsibly. Do, don't have. Do it. Eat them all. All in all, I'd say the best drug out of them all would be marijuana. Well, marijuana is the le- least amount of commitment. You know, it's like you just high, you're you in a happy mood and you're relaxed. And um, yeah, the rage sort of within Makes, you subsides yeah. a just bit. chill, yeah. Makes well, you, you less murdery. You yeah, you wouldn't go out fucking cows when you're high. No, I can't That's do it on weed. Can't do it on weed. Bender on the like, fucking I'll, I'll, gear. Ho- I'll hook up with them. I'll like... like sensual. Hook up it's more sensual. And, yeah, like there was... I had a weird moment one with a, uh, with a big bull. And we sort of slow danced um, under the stars for a couple of hours while I was high, and uh, yeah, so but no, no violence on weed, which is which is interesting. There you alcohol go. Though? It needs to be legalized. Yeah, alcohol. That's where the blackouts happen. Yeah, that's where the rage really builds up and explodes out of my dick and ass. Have you ever greened out? Uh, yeah, from edibles. Oh, did you vomit? No, I didn't vomit, but I was very close to panicking. Yeah, yeah, you can go real far with edibles real quick. Well. Very yeah, we had panic attacks in LA because we ate like three gummies each. And, and we were sitting in the cinemas and I had no idea how to get out. <laughs> yeah, we thought we'd lose, got... lose, lose. I get so disorientated. <laughs> yeah, but then like, luckily we were in the cinema, so we felt safe. No one's looking at us. We're in the dark. And then the movie we just got into. And then at the end, we just hired some like go scooters and just scooted around town high, which was fun. Screaming. Mm. But yeah, don't do drugs, but do them. Don't don't not do them. Yeah, don't not do drugs and and eighteen. Make sure you're eighteen. Kids don't do it yet. All right. This one's from Ivan Petinella. Classic name. Very common name. Do you guys follow the NBA and if you do what teams? No, That's not really. No, we haven't yeah, really we have, I don't I haven't really followed the NBA for a while. I used to play NBA on PlayStation when I was a, I was a little German girl and I liked the uh, the New York Knicks but no I don't really I've it never anymore. liked basketball Aussie Karts our mate Bryce now are you guys planning on making a song yes we spoke about this uh, with our filmer uh, Connor a while ago we're thinking of uh, turning the, a little tune a little self made tune that we sing sometimes when we're filming uh, called Disco Dancing. We get it, yeah. That was in our head for weeks. That's it's a all very, we'd say. Very it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. We just got to find... How do you find tunes? How do you make a tune to like... How, what is music, Matt? How do you make sounds, Matt? But yeah, we just need a, a tune, a, dum, a simple tune. Dum, dum. We've already, yeah. Lockie, you could probably do it. We've got to go disco dancing. We've got yes, to go disco yes, dancing. Yes. We've got to go disco dancing. Yes yes, 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 yes. And then there's a bridge, but I don't want to say I can't remember it, but I have got it's it. It's good. It. It's, it's it's very, very good. Yeah. Like it's it's one of the best noises I've ever heard. Yeah, so. it's it makes me happy. All right, next so, yeah, question. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> Shane underscore 2026. If you guys wrestled, what would be your entrance music and what would your finishing move be? War Pigs, Black Sabbath. And finishing move would be the scorpion where you hit the back of their head and mm. it shuts their whole body down. Classic. They just become like Stephen, you Stephen Hawking's them. Yeah. Their whole fucking tongue comes out. They dribble. They can't move. So when you're in a fight, don't go for the front. Hit up around the back. Tap that spot in the back of their head. Bang. Shut down. Hmm. Yeah. I've seen him do it. 
to an old Lockie lady. came up with a new one the other day. Yeah, Look. it's a punch and then slap up so under you, the chin. See, and that's another spot. Apparently, you can shut like half. It shuts like, all their organs down. So it's an instant <laughs> death. <laughs> it stops yeah. the heart straight away. It's internally. Yeah, they die internally. It's not the nervous, <laughs> sitting, nervous system shutting down. It's, uh, it's the organs. My uh, entry song would be uh, Wrecking Ball from Miley Cyrus. And my finishing move would be a... Um, uh, I'd shoot them. <laughs> yeah, fuck. So, yeah, I could see you doing that. What about something with a cow? You could bring in like, you could, I don't know, pr- no, you can't really have a cow in your pocket, can you? Well, depends how big the pocket is, I guess. Yeah, and it's quite noticeable though and hard to walk with a cow in your pocket. Yeah. Well, what- Maybe just one of the legs in the pocket and it walks next to me. <laughs> Still yeah. in the pocket. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess what we, we could fucking release the cow on them at the end shoot milk at them anyway yeah. sorry it's a work in progress this one's from Zach triple C underscore what was your dream job as a kid how happy are you with what you are doing now how much do you enjoy pranking each other on a regular basis and creating content if there was one thing you could cha- change about your profile what would it be? About What's your profile? Like this, the side of your face? Yeah, I'd probably cut the nose down a yeah, bit. Yeah, I was going to say that I was, yeah, cut the nose off. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd probably, yeah, maybe, I don't know, the nose on the profile. How come that's called your profile? I don't know. Sorry. Some idiot made that up. There's a lot of questions. Um, what's what's our dream job as a kid? Oh, probably I wanted to be a tennis star. Yeah, professional athlete or... Um, I guess comedian was in there, but I never really pursued it because um, it was laughed at when I voiced it. Yeah, your your mother did not like it. No. Yeah, tennis player. Then I'm happy. This is awesome. It's fun making silly videos. So like, once as a as a kid, I wanted to be a tennis player. Found alcohol slash drugs, which changed me to want to be an entertainer. Sorry about that. Therefore, I'm. Happy with what I'm doing now, yes. Michael hadn't really gotten drunk before you met me, had you? I think it was 16, yeah, once I met you. Was, Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, goon. Quite goon. a uh, profound effect you, there. Sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remember the first Whoops. time? <laughs> you, Dropped the ball there, didn't I? <laughs> you went through like fucking six goon sacks in one night and I woke And then up. boom, addicted. <laughs> yeah, and you pissed all over me. Yep, pissed all over him while he was passed <laughs> out as punishment for passing out. Oh. And I stand by that decision. Yeah, if you pass out, you got to cop it, hey? I don't know what they call the profile. It's um, profile the, is the representation of something in outline. So on your side, they can see the outline. Mm. Ooh. Matt Brown from Holson. Would there be Google. a profile then for front on? Like, because then your profile's on the ears and no, shit? No, it's just a circle. It's just a circle. No, you got ears that stick out? Yeah, so you got a circle with ears on it. That's if, So it has to be the side. Uh, Matt Brown from Wholesome just googled it And he said <coughs> something about a line Something about a line on the face When you do it that way That's what Matthew Brown from Wholesome said That's a word for word what he said He said a line on the face When you face that way Profile picture Yeah I don't know I'm still struggling to make sense of it all But that's what Matthew Brown from Wholesome said There was a bit of concrete he's in there He's got a lot going too. on He's got a lot going on at work <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people to manage. He's got to, you know, sort of sort things out. People come to him with problems. It's just best that we sort of leave this to us. Yeah. Us, awesome. As in A R S E. All right. Alec underscore Cavaliganino three. Very good. Your pronunciation's really gone much better. I'm Spanish. What do I have? Why do I have the urge to milk Marty? Uh, it's because I have an utter. Maybe it's, I think it's like a reference at the cows. I think also because I, oh, maybe, I don't know if anyone's ever seen. I have an utter on my back, on my lower back. It's like in the, yeah, it's like where his tramp stamp is. It's not like just under it. Well, that's why it's like I a got, tail. That's why I got that tattoo there is to sort of disguise Mask it a bit. But yeah, I, I have an utter. So maybe that's why. <laughs> this one's from Christian. Of course it is. Christian Nana Stasas. Man, these are hard to pronounce. Very common name. Does Michael have cerebral palsy? <laughs> <laughs> MS. Yeah, he's just got uh, MS. Um, he might have, look, he might have what cerebral palsy. What is that palsy. one? Is that where you go Stephen Hawking's? Yeah, I think that's, you're born with like a thing that makes you just look like a fuckwit. <laughs> Whoa. But, 
you know, where he hasn't been checked for cerebral palsy. Who knows? Well, sometimes. Yeah, I've seen. Actually, you do you've that. seen me when I'm proper fucking munted. Yeah, and, and I've drunk. I've said to myself, my face caves in. I've said to myself, I seize up. You look like you have cerebral palsy right now. I've said that. Like I've that. said that six or seven Are times. You seen like that? Yeah, and that he. That's just him relaxing. Yeah, when we're but that's like when I'm. That's fucking. Two, that's like that's like two days deep on a lot of shit. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, MS though is probably his favorite disease. Yeah, that I have. Um, okay, Daniel underscore Ahia. How many people or cows do you guys finger on a daily basis asking for a police officer? Um, oh, if I tried to average it out weekly, look, there's some weeks where I don't finger anyone. I don't finger anything or anyone. But then there's some weeks where yeah, it's it's quite a. Uh, insatiable appetite to just fucking get through as many cows as i can so on average it's probably maybe oh what's that maybe five on that saturday you know saturday like four on that monday maybe. Uh, probably like three or four a week yeah but usually it's two every session it's two to four so it averages if out. you're gonna go out to the fucking farm you gotta make it worthwhile yeah and the, you know there's a lot of and, and at the moment with the bushfires and shit it's quite difficult because they're all charred corpses yeah it's not the same yeah it's not the same fingering you a charred saying, corpse yeah. yeah well they're already you know they're already fucked so like it's it's funnier but it's not it's, it's sort of taken the, the, fun, the fun out, out of it. it like I laugh more but it sort of makes me not you know it doesn't hit the spot of pleasure yeah, it's, it's not, more just a joke it's like it's like it doesn't it doesn't really satisfy me you know yeah, no, I get that. It's funny though; like it's it's good laugh. Hmm. All right, <laughs> the underscore boy underscore dudas underscore. How good of a scientist would you rate yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, how many scientists do you know of? Like, I only knew one. Yeah, well, yeah. There's like there's Stephen Hawking's who like like we we read his work all of it and and we thought oh okay yeah he's he, he's sort of on our level. So there's Stephen Hawking's. The rest, like I've forgotten their names, to be honest. And I don't know what they've done for, for the world. So, uh, you know, no one, if someone said to any strange, just a random person on the street, do you know any scientists? Marty and Michael. They would say Marty and Michael. Like, so we're 10 out of 10. I'd rate us 10 out of 10. And there aren't many that have the knowledge that we have. And there aren't many that, that do the experiments that we do. Well, science is just, it's fucking, it gets swept under the rug. Like it's not popular. No one likes it. It was very difficult to try and make science cool again. And we've done it like, because you know, we've like, we've fucking saved the day. Like a whole generation now is going to grow up learning smarter. shit. A lot smarter. Yeah. Like ethics and shit. Like there's <clears throat> e ethics and work morals. ethic. And also like science shit. Like we've done shit no one other fucking cunt can fucking do, cunt. Like we're fucking up there, cunt. Like Albert fucking Einstein or whatever. Fuck that cunt. He don't know shit. Stephen Hawking's knew some shit, but at the end of the day, he's stuck in a chair. No, he's not even that anymore. Yeah, well, he's stuck in a chair in the ground. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how they buried him. Just duct tape him to the chair and throw it in a hole and fill it with concrete. Delivered by wholesome. wholesome. Oh, holy shit. Oh, fuck. We are good, dude. That was fucking well said. So 10 out of 10 science. Yeah, we're the best scientists there are. All right, next question. Joel underscore Hunter. What's the craziest tennis story you have? Oh, fuck. Uh, what about that <clears> time there was that? fuckwit parent who kept tripping everyone who walked in front of him oh and i accused him of being a pedophile yeah so we saw this parent at a tennis tournament he kept tripping people if they walked in front of his chair because it like obstructed his vision of his kid playing a tennis match for like a split second <laughs> so we decided to walk in front of him and he tripped us and then yeah michael turned around and called him a, a pedophile and then we, what, something <laughs> happened. We had him, we, the, yeah. The, yeah, he got kicked out. He got in trouble because yeah. he was like tripping kids. But you got to understand in the tennis world, I'd say like not all parents, but fucking 50% of parents are just fucked. disgusting people. And man. the kids are also fucked. Oh, no social skills. Like, oh, like I used to refer to tennis. If you're in the tennis world, you're in a tennis cult. It's all you live and breathe this 
fucking sick sport that I now hate. Uh, and uh, yeah, the parents are just fucking crazy obsessed with their kids becoming famous, trying to live through their kids. And like, you know, they'll punch or pump a lot of money into their kids just to yeah, hit a, a ball over the net. sickening world. And then m- fucking 99.9% of the kids don't make it like me. And then... And they- then what? You're fucking stuck at home. Lucky I had science yep. to fucking back like fall on or I would have been... I would have just been a fucking... You'd have been another coach. Just another coach. Yeah. Not, we're lucky. We're so lucky that we have this general, huge base, baseline, fundamental knowledge of science. No one really has that to fall back on. We got lucky. Yeah. We got very, very <clears throat> lucky. We're really fast learners. So we went from tennis to science and now we're the best. Like that. Oh, this one. Okay, we'll finish with this one. This is good because I'm good at this. This one's from Robert420. And he's asked, have you ever had a shit outside? And if so, what did you wipe your ass with? Oh, yeah, Michael, you can take this. This is right up your alley. <clears throat> like a lot of people think you need leaves or even toilet paper. You don't need anything. Or you, you can shit where you want. And then you just you just sort of drag like a dog how they wipe their ass. Make Michael, sure you need yeah. grass. You need Thick, field. thick lush grass is helpful I've seen Michael shit And then he'll pull his pants down And uh, sit on his ass And then dr- pull his cheeks apart Then sit <laughs> Oh yeah sometimes And then dr- drag himself along leave, you know, And the grass cleans his ass Yeah fully Like it's spotless It sucks if it's dry grass Because it fucking points in And yeah, if, if there's, there's s- bindies Sticks you and are. prickles yeah. Prickles you're fucked Like there's been some bad moments But like check the grass before you do it you can sh- as long as there's grass, you can shit anywhere, and you just pull your ass along, and you you're fine. There's no shit on your ass anymore. Yeah, wholesome. <laughs> all right, and that's all our questions. All right, which brings us to our next segment, which has been renamed to Patient Ed. God. And basically, this is um, where we open shit that you fuck with sent to our PO box, which is right here. P.O. Box, P.O. Box, P.O. Box 256, Tagum, 4018 is our postcode, Queensland, Australia. Send us some more shit, okay? This is like... We only got one box again this week. Yeah, one big box full of heaps of shit, but just send us more shit. If you want this segment to live on... Send us it. Remember, we are fucking totally fine. I would love to open up some a package human shit. and see human shit in it. Like, yeah. I would... And I will even do the army, like where you, you put it on your fingers. There you go. If you send us human shit, Michael that, will wipe it under his eyes like an army man trying to camouflage his face. God, that's that's cool. No, I that think is, that's pretty cool. It's it's strange. It's definitely up there. But like, <laughs> you get sent shit and does that. That's a first. So go on, send us your shit. But uh, this is what they've sent us. They've sent us a uh, disco projector light. What? Oh my God. So that's pretty cool. Thank you. That's going. That's the fucking that's going, Christmas party. That's going in the bin. It's the boys' trip. We're going to use that. Uh, they've sent us uh, some fireworks. Oh, it says no fireworks. It's a big, big party popper. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Why are these shit? <laughs> that's fucked. All right. We're going to continue searching through the box. God, I wanted to see that. So, thank you. There's air horns, party poppers, and a disco light projector. Perfect for disco dancing. Great. Thank you to Anonymous, whoever sent that. Thank you very much. It's great. Thank you. Uh, and that's exactly the type of stuff we expect in the P.O. box. <laughs> yeah, s- slash as well as shit. As well as human shit. All right. Um, that's the P.O. Box segment. <laughs> oh, I really wanted that explosion. <laughs> Why? Why didn't it work? How's that not working? <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> yes! We did it! <laughs> we did it! Oh, fuck me. That oh. is hot. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, very, very difficult. Oh, I'm satisfied. All right, for those listening at home, uh, it just popped and there's confetti everywhere. everywhere. 
everywhere. And uh, uh, Michael, make sure to clean this up, of course, <laughs> after we finish the podcast. Yeah. And okay. be quick about it too. We've got to get going at dinner. Yeah, oh. we've got dinner to go to. All right, uh, that is the end of the P.O. Box segment. Thank you for sending those party poppers through. Uh, that's great. <laughs> All right, the next segment is, uh, it's, uh, it's been renamed. And uh, there's a little, Matthew's written a little song for this one. Uh, it's story time. It's story time, wholesome. Story time, wholesome. Sponsored by Wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> so it's story time and we just tell an old fucked up story that we've done. And uh, yeah, it's sponsored <coughs> by uh, Wholesome. So get around it. If anyone needs any concrete, make sure you ask for Matthew Brown. Wholesome headquarters there in Milton. Uh, it was a big five-story building. I've been in there myself. Everyone's got computer. They get free Arnott biscuits. Everyone's got a computer. There's a kitchen. Oh, oh it's, it's a lunch break. Go to the kitchen and then Matt Brown says, get back to work, you fucking bitch. <laughs> what do we, yeah. All right, today's story is all about... Uh, look. Now, we do this, this shit when we're young and stupid and we, we still would do this. Yeah. We do it. We do it today. Yeah. If present, if the opportunity presented itself, this is a story about compassion. It's a story about <laughs> hope and survival. Um, it's a really touching piece on uh, on bravery and also just being the sense of just human togetherness. You know the movie Castaway. It's similar to that. That's what I sort of compare it to. So. We were on uh, Stradbroke Island, which is an island um, close to Brisbane, and we were getting fucking sloshed, cunt. We were getting fucking slammed, fuck you, like Russell Crowe hitting his wife fucked up. Did he hit his wife? No, he throws phones at her. Yeah. He just <laughs> throws phones at everyone. <laughs> And uh, we were young. We were young, very young, maybe 18 or something. And um, we were drinking and e everyone goes to bed really early. There's not much to do. And we were up still drinking and um, we saw something so beautiful. <laughs> there's, like a, there's like a little river and there's a bridge going over it. And uh, there was this guy in the middle of the bridge and we were maybe 100 meters away. And he was sort of standing, holding onto the railing. How big was the dip, you reckon? Uh, I reckon it was probably a good three meters to the to the water. Oh, maybe two meters to the water. But yeah, he was standing there fucked off his head. And the rail <laughs> is like hip height, so it's not that high. And he was just standing, <laughs> looking into the water, <laughs> fucked out of his head. So we sort of snuck up. Like he's like uh, nearly unconscious. Like, and so we snuck up, we're like 10 meters away from him, hiding behind a tree, looking at him. And then we saw one of those beautiful things. He sort of lost balance, fell forward, <laughs> and and flipped into the water. Bang! Straight into the water. It's quite shallow water. Yeah, and so it was, he wasn't going to drown. He was okay. Well, he might he would have hurt his legs. Look, he he could have drowned, and and I definitely wouldn't have helped. <laughs> yeah, we, we were busy. We were busy laughing. It was very very funny. So uh, anyway, that was that was like we were crippled with laughter. we seeing him do that, and then, and then uh, what followed was equally as hilarious. He was sort of there was quite a steep bank down to the water, and he was uh, continued to try and climb out of the bank, and then he he did manage to get to the top, turned around, and started pissing where he'd just crawled. Lost his balance and rolled back down the hill. No, Imagine we... if we had fucking iPhones back then. This oh, would this would have been like fuck. millions of views. Like this guy was fucked. Mm. Anyway, he 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 cl climbed out the other side of the bank and we didn't see him for a while. And uh, we just continued, you know, drinking around our campsite. Blah blah blah. And then went for a walk later. And as luck would have it, we stumbled across him again. Gem. And he was he was completely passed out. Now he's he's like lying. He was like me, passed out, like fucking yeah. gone. You yeah. can do whatever. You, oh, actually, well, yeah, he was see. he was he was fucked, like yeah, unconscious, fucked, and and uh, he was cl sort of close to his campsite, but it wasn't no one else around. So we sort of wanted to see just how fucked he was. So it started with uh, just so, hiding behind trees and just underhand throwing just small small amounts of sand. Pebbles. Onto, onto his face and body and just small amounts and nothing. He wouldn't, wouldn't move and we were doing this for a while. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking hilarious. And then we sort of started getting confident, being like, this guy is never going to fucking wake up. <laughs> He's never going to wake up. <laughs> so we started getting handfuls of sand and like overhand throw, getting a bit harder, 
at his face. Like, and it's starting mm. to get loud now when the sand slaps into his face. Yeah. Like, it would sting a lot. And he's just sitting there, still just completely fucked, hasn't even moved. And then we started, like, like fully, like, like, like a meter away, standing over him and pegging, <laughs> pegging sand into his face. <laughs> and then... And then I went and got a handful of, of wet sand uh, nearby, s- stood over oh, him. Oh, yeah. And then, and then this was... Well, like, he went from completely dead, <laughs> pegged the handful of wet sand into his face, to like like someone had hit him with a shot Furious. of adrenaline. Just sat up and realised... <laughs> like, we were just standing a few metres away from him. He's covered in sand. <laughs> and he's we're just realised realize that he... That we'd just been pegging <laughs> sand at him as hard as we could. We'd been sanding him. And so he just shot up straight away and without saying a word, not not a word was said, just bolt, started bolting after us. And we like, I've never felt such a surge of adrenaline. Because I could, I could, yeah, he, I felt like he was really, really wanting to hurt us. And just sprinted towards the beach and then took a left in the pitch black. And like, man, I've never, I don't think I've ever run that fast. We were fucking flying oh. on that sand. Like... Flying across it I took I was fl- like Up in the air Yeah I think we were Levitating for a while Yeah like, With so much adrenaline That we were actually floating up. Like yeah. like I was like Superman I didn't have my arms In front of me I had my arms to the side But flying Yeah And that's how fast We were going I didn't even turn around To see how long He was chasing us for But like a good Minute of sprinting And then we Found some Like trees In the darkness Turned around And he was gone so, if you're listening to the podcast, <laughs> dude that got fucked up that night at Sandman. Sorry, sorry mate. Sorry That's about our that. bad. <laughs> yeah. That'll serve you for getting that fucked up on your yeah. own, though. What, like, what are you doing? Yeah. At least have a friend Why there. are you on a bridge? Yeah, looking in. Just looking in for like, swaying around for like five minutes and then fucking fall in. Yeah. That's yeah. Un- he could have snapped he- his neck. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, in a way, we were teaching him a lesson. Yeah. That, well, that's how we, I think of it. We sort of... I feel like we saved his... Yeah, we saved his life. I think he's... Is there like some sort of medal that people get for saving lives? Isn't there some sort of bravery medal? Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, yeah. I think we... If there's the person who is in charge of the Nobel Peace Prize, if you're listening... Just email us. Email us. Well, you've got our PR box. Just send it through. Like, send it through. Like, we, that's a true story. Yeah. Saved a guy's life. So, just send it through. And also, like, maybe just some other awards or, some medals or something. I don't know. Maybe a trophy, a big trophy. That'd be nice. Yeah. Because we did save a life. So, like, send us some trophies. How Someone. many? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, oh. a, it's a short story, but, like, I still remember it vividly, him falling into the water and it, and it still it still makes me chuckle. It still, it still brings a laugh to my face. So, How uh, old were we? I would have been 18, just just on 18. Maybe <sighs> not even. Maybe yeah. not even. We we're there with Cassie and her family. Fuck. <laughs> oh, good times. So yeah, that is the. So yeah, all in all, if someone gets fucked up like that you and there's sand about, save their life. You got sand them. If someone, if your friends are getting that fucked up, you got to do something to them so they know next time not to get that fucked up. If you don't do anything to them and then they just think that they're able to do that without any repercussions, you got to, you got to piss on them, throw sand on them, super glue them, something. Super glom, you got to f- cover them in fake tan, something to yeah. let them know that that's not okay. And they always learn. They always learn. They always learn from that. 100% success rate. Sort of. All right, that is the end of story time, which brings us to our final segment, which hasn't been renamed. It's just the prank call. And this week, uh, we're going to call Domino's, right? And I'm going to pretend to be offended at everything that they say. Fuck, this is going to be cringe, man. Yeah, this is... Uh, I'm not looking forward to this one. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to somehow pretend that what they're saying is, is quite offensive. Silverback, silverback. Silverback. Hey, would I be able to place a pickup order, please? Yeah, what are we after? Um, I've never actually called uh, Domino's before. Um, you guys just do pizzas, right? Yeah, right. Um, so do you, do you guys have the um the standard um just pepperoni? Yeah, with pe- a mobile phone, maybe it comes with an address. Pardon? Sorry, I was telling my um representative what to do. Sorry, yeah. So what pizza did you say you were after? Sorry, did you just did you just 
say you want my address. Pardon? Did you just say that you want need my address because it's a mobile phone? I'm not no, comfortable no. giving out that information. Would... What? I'm not no. comfortable. I'm just, it's a pickup order. I don't need to give my address, yeah, do yeah. I? Yeah, yeah. No, no. I just told my another person what she had to do. Oh, right. So you're sort of talking to the other staff while you're on do the you phone. Do you need any help? What pizza are we after? Um, do you guys have like the, uh, just the standard Hawaiian pizza? Yeah, we do. Great. So can I just get one of those? Um, and do you guys have, uh, what sort of sides do you guys have? Bites and sorry, what what bites? Sorry, what sort of bites? Sorry, they're kind of like the popcorn from KFC. All oh, right, so you guys do like uh, like chicken bites as well. I thought you guys just did pizza. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I was just told that you guys just did pizza, but that's um. So so you guys do chicken as well. So it's chicken and pizza. Um, okay. Well, I'll just get like, um, uh, do you guys do garlic bread, right? Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any gluten free garlic bread? We do. Can I get a gluten free garlic bread? Yep, sure. And uh, what sort of drinks do you guys have? I know you're a prank caller. You're just anonymous and you're just making up stuff and you're so just don't waste our time. If you Excuse like to me. Excuse me. You are a rude hat. <laughs> How the fuck did she know? Domino's is on us, dude. They, they must be spreading the word. Oh. The Domino's people calling other Domino's people. Fuck you. You little worms. You hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using that in the future. I didn't want to be too rude, but yeah, I wanted yeah. to let her know that I was oh. upset. Oh man! Well, that's no, that's different. That's a change. We've never had him go. Well, I guess we have, but she was generally pissed off. Yeah, but how did she know? I wonder. What Maybe game? I'm pretty sure there could be like a thing <gasps> in Domino's in their little like whatever fucking system, system. in their computer system. In, and they've they've put our and they they've got they've a warned bug, everyone. They've bugged the house and they've they've computer system picks up the stress in my voice and analyzes it underneath the algorithm and then it spits out a prank call probability number and it fax, which then they, they use it to it. the they staff it. then use that and they talk to each other. Yeah, they, they're having a meeting now. The staff sit down and have a meeting about the prank probability number and then they have a chat and decide, no, this guy's not being serious. And then the person on the phone has to deliver the information. And that's what's happened. We need to find the bug in the house and we need to destroy it. Domino's is everywhere. If you're listening, burn your fucking house down. They've bugged you too. Yeah. Burn your house down. Hashtag burn your house down. Spread the word. Domino's is everywhere. <clears throat> we're the best, we're the best, we're the best. best. Domino's. Fuck you. There's a bug in the house. There's a bug in the fucking house, man. I'll fix it. Burn the house. There's bushfires. The house down. There's bushfires.